Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of who does it better for captioning videos. And I'm going to test both Yuja and Canvas Studio. So this is kind of a fun little video. I wanted to just try this for myself, but I thought I would share it with everyone here just to see if anyone out there is curious like I am. So here we are in Canvas Studio. I'm going to test this first. I've clicked on it in my global navigation and I'm going to click the add button here and here is where I can upload my file. I have it right here. I can drag it over and drop it in there. That's pretty easy. And now it's going to upload pretty quick. It's a short video. It's about two minutes long. And this is something I always do whenever I put a video on YouTube. I always kind of run it through one of these just to caption it because I find the captioning in Canvas Studio to be really good. And I can download those captions and upload them to YouTube. So it's kind of an easier way to caption than to use the auto captions in YouTube right at this point. So now that this is uploaded, I'm going to click on it. And here is where we can go into the captioning and we can select the language English and click on request. And you can see it says it's 85% accurate in most cases. So we'll see how well this does. In the meantime, I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to navigate towards Yuja. I've never used Yuja before. For this purpose. Yuja is going to be located in the actual courses. Um, I actually think I need to add it to this one. No, there it is. It's in the course navigation. So I'm going to click on Yuja. And the reason I like both Yuja and Canvas Studio is because these are housed in the course management system, which is Canvas in this case. And this way, if you're afraid of sharing something on YouTube, especially if it contains any kind of student information at all, you don't want to put it on YouTube. But if you share it in these private libraries within the course management system, sometimes that's a better way to do it. So I tried to click and drag it. I'm not too familiar with how this works, so <laughs> I'm guessing I have to do something different here. I'm just going to click on My Media. There it is right here, upload. And this has a similar drag and drop feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag the same video up there and see what happens. It says it's uploading it. There it is. We'll see how long this takes. And while this is processing, I'm gonna do a quick check on Canvas Studio. It is in the queue for the captioning. Okay, so that didn't take long at all, just a minute or two. And that gave me time to look up how to caption videos in Yuja. And according to this Google result, it says from your media collection, hover over the media thumbnail and select more. And then you select the accessibility tab. So let me hover over it and click on more. And then I can look down here and here's the accessibility tab. And here is where I can, oh, it's not letting me select auto caption. Not a good look. Okay, so after a phone call to Yuja support, I found out that the captioning feature has not been turned on for our institution. So I'm going to let the higher ups figure that one out. <laughs> because I thought it was included and it is necessary if you're going to put a video up for your students to have it captioned and auto captioning makes that much easier to do. But I do have access to a college account that does have this feature turned on so that's where I'm at now. So we're going to try these steps again. We've uploaded the video. I'm going to click on more and scroll down to accessibility and here the auto caption button is working so I will check that out choose English and send caption request 
So we'll see how long this takes to caption. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, just by comparison, when Canvas Studio completes the captioning, they send you an email that looks like this, telling you that the automatic captions are ready to be reviewed. And they even give you a link that takes you straight to the video. And just like Canvas Studio, Yuja does send an email reminding you that the captioning has processed. It also includes a direct link to the video. So both of these email notifications are great in my opinion. So let's take a look at the side-by-side -side comparison. We have Yuja here and I'll show you something really cool. When I click on the Yuja, not only will it play the captions if I Hello, turn them on, in this video, I'm gonna... but it also has this show transcript feature which is pretty cool for the students and it also allows them to download it as well. And when you go to the accessibility area, so if we go back on to My Media and click on More, and when you go down to accessibility, there's this area here where you can actually download not only the SRT file, so if you're posting this video to YouTube as well and you want to upload captions, you would use this SRT caption file, but it also includes two options for the transcript. So this is really useful. Sometimes I will post a link to the transcript below the video uh, if I embed it in Canvas. And this just helps students even that much more. Some students want to have the transcript. They like to read the transcript. So um, this is pretty cool. And if you click on the little download buttons for each, you can download them. And it's actually pretty quick and easy. When I click on the PDF one, it actually displays it in the browser. So here's what the transcript looks like. And we can see uh, from here, this is it's got some stuff I need to fix so anytime I say the word dot or like if I'm reading out an email or a link it's going to require some fixing when that's expected if we go to studio studio has this review and publish which I like so this actually lets you scroll down you can play along the video and listen as you type kind of thing and here's where you can make corrections as well so I like the fact that you can edit these right here um, and it gives you the timestamps as well. If you wanted to download an SRT file of this, you can always go back and click on the three dots and here's where you can download the captions. It has the SRT file here, which you can upload into YouTube if you wanted to, latest.srt. But again, we don't want to do that until we've reviewed it corrected it and then we can go to that step. So I'm going to show you just a little bit of back-to-back -back comparison here. This one, hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to turn on multi-factor authentication for your LA Community College District email. So this first sentence looks pretty good on the studio version. I'm going to check out the PDF. Hello everybody in this video I'm going to show you how to turn on multi-factor authentication for your LA Community College District email. This is pretty good too. Interesting, they use a period after hello everybody and in studio they used a couple commas here. Hello, comma, everybody. It's interesting to see those differences. The results of this will obviously vary on your audio quality, on your voice, etc. So don't take this as a scientific video at all. I'm just doing this for fun. So you can see, yeah, when it read out this link, my mail at laccd.edu, that's what this, this sentence is, the first step. Uh, if we go to the Yuja PDF, it says the first step is to log into your email at mymail.laccd.edu. So it got kind of close here. Uh, but not neither one knew what I was talking about there and that's totally expected I'm reading out a, a URL so no worries but everything else looks quite good like even this one just go ahead and click the next button 
Uh, in this sentence, you just capitalize the word next, which is kind of nice. Let's check out studio and see what it did. Um, here it is. Just go ahead and click the next button. They didn't capitalize it. Not a big deal. Just, just another little difference there. Uh, but again, both work really well. There's capitalization, punctuation, and um, just little differences here and there. But so far, both are passing my test. I do want to see how to correct these in Yuja, if there's a way to do that. OK, after a quick Google search, I found the instructions here. It says to hover over the media file and select Edit. And then from here, we would select Closed Captions. And it looks like this is the area where I can make the edits here. Um, you do have to kind of page forward a bit. I'm not too uh, skilled at this yet, but I'm sure this wouldn't be too hard to figure out. Yeah, so you can make little corrections right here. And it has this little page forward. I kind of actually like this because uh, you can fix a little section and then move to the next one. And I kind of like, actually, I like this uh, as opposed to Studio, which runs down the screen as you fix it. The one thing I don't like about um, fixing captions in Studio is that sometimes you're way down here and you, you can't actually see what's going on in the video as you're fixing those captions. So that's just a little personal preference I have. But it's good to know that you're able to edit captions in both Yuja and Canvas Studio. So I think that's it for this video. I hope this was interesting. I don't know if it was, but there you go. A little comparison video. Thanks for watching.